So I should bro. I think this might be the best uh, chair session we've done, you know. Max is so, still five foot. Five eight and a half, actually. He's tiny, isn't he? He's tiny for a for a fully grown man. He's tiny. <laughs> he probably needs a parachute to step off the pavement. <laughs> Welcome back guys, today I'm going to switch it up, we're going to change up the reps. We've got Max Blazers himself, back from Ireland again. What's up boys? It's been a while. I've been mean, oh shit, don't get too close boys, not a good day for me today, you know what I mean? Just Monster Energy, not sponsored. So today we are going to do this is my good side. bench. Thank you. Yeah, good side, you've got yeah. one good side. Yeah. Today we are going to do a chest session and we're going to do negatives. Negatives right? boys. So what negatives are, are when you control the weight downwards and you don't actually push back up. So we're going to do it on bench press to show you. I'm going to talk about it quite a lot in this video and explain to you why you would use negatives, what they're for. But first of all, what you need to know is that there are three types of muscle contraction. There's concentric, where the muscle is shortening while contracting. There's eccentric, where the muscle is lengthening. And there's long centric. Right? No, not long centric, but that was a good effort. Uh, okay. Isometric. Isometric. Sure. Isometric, where the muscle is staying still. Like a plank, like pausing. So there's three types of contractions. During negatives, you are using eccentric contraction. And because you're using eccentric contraction, you can actually use more weight in the set than you usually would if it was reps. You know those times you put on too much weight at the bar and you can take it down, but you can't get it back up? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to help Max on every rep get the weight back up. I don't want him to push it out, and he's going to control down. We're going to be able to increase the load on the muscle we're going to be able to increase the time that the muscles under tension so we're going to go down for five to six seconds yeah. and we're going to do six to eight reps yeah let's smash it let's go for six reps so that was pretty sick bro six reps going down for six seconds each rep that's 36 seconds that the muscles under tension for hypertrophy you want the muscle to be under tension under a big load for 30 to 45 seconds is like a prime time so 36 seconds 80 kgs he wouldn't have been able to do that kind of way if we were working the muscle in both directions and eccentric contraction gives you the greatest gains in muscle mass a massive potential to work on technique because you're just going so much slower so he's able to think about where he is and it is a great workout for building strength so we are going to go in set two and i'm actually going to drop it down to 75 kg so it's still a massive load for him bearing mind it's only 10 kgs of his pb and we are going to again aim for six to eight reps i'm hoping we're going to get eight we'll get it. let's see eight reps. We'll get it. eight reps let's do it 75 kgs six to eight reps nice and controlled three two one you're one two Three, four, five, six. Don't push up. I got you. I got you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. That was a good round. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, that's four, two, three, four, five, six, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Two, three, four, five, six, go. Come on, come on. Burn. Two, massive gains. Three, four, five, six, keep it going. Come on, come on, come on. Two, three, four, five. Get out of the way. Yeah. Huh? I feel like I was not a kid. I was not a kid. Uh. How's it going on that? Very bad. In a good way, obviously. So, Max plays with himself, got nine. Nine reps, 75 kgs, six seconds a rep. That's actually 54 seconds under tension in the set, which is massive for such a big weight. His PB is 85, and we just smashed 54 seconds at 75. So, can you see how that's gonna like, yeah. and, that, and that's after doing six reps at 80. What I found is that you really didn't push yourself to get the last two out, because the last two were really burns. Hurts, doesn't it? Yeah, it hurts the last two. You gotta, you gotta push yourself to fucking limit that. The burn when you do this is absolutely incredible, but you have to do this with a training partner. You need your training partner to be someone who's strong enough to lift the weight back up from you, especially because that allows you to commit through those last reps. Am I taller than you now, bro? Yeah, you're taller than me now because yeah. you're standing on the uh, platform. They can, they can There's a platform right there, guys. Yeah, What's he talking about? Now? Max is still five foot. Five and a half, actually. He's tiny, isn't he? He's tiny for a, for a fully grown man, he's tiny. <laughs> he probably needs a parachute to step off the pavement. <laughs> There are a few negative exercises that you can do alone. For example, bicep curls on the preacher. You come up with two arms, and then you go back down with one slowly, and then you use the other arm to really help you get back up, and then back down. You can do it on the hamstring curl, you can do it on a few things where you're using a single arm or a single leg, but really for negatives, you need a training partner. Go and get your negatives in, guys. We're gonna do three times 15, just to finish off on a lightweight, 40 kgs, and then we're gonna do some cables, some press-ups, and the reason why we're only doing two sets on negatives, we don't wanna risk an injury. It is very intense, and you're gonna get massive gains from two sets. Let's go, Max. Pump is massive. Bit of everything. It's heavy weights. Look at the pump. Weights. Look at 
Da, boys. Double D's. You look pretty good, bro. And we're gonna spend the next couple of weeks cutting up. Cotton. I know, boys. I'm not the fucking leanest when it comes to around here. But, gotta put the muscle on first. Now I'm gonna cut. I'm not gonna be as big as this, but I'll be shredded. So, Max yeah. has asked me to help him with a meal plan. Yeah. We're not going to cut down and strip all the muscle, but we're just gonna reduce a little bit of fat around the waist because we are now coming up to July. You've got July and August to so enjoy all your gains with some abs coming soon. That's it. Full extension. Three, don't waste them. Five seconds to go. Push up, push up, push up, push up, come on. Rest, well done. So today is the 30th of June, which means if you entered the eight week transformation competition back in May, it's time to send your after pictures. So send them to the same email address where you sent your before pictures. The email address is on the screen right now. Please only send me a picture if you entered the competition eight weeks ago. If you didn't enter the competition, don't worry because I'm gonna run another transformation competition in a couple months. So be ready for that. But if you did enter, please make sure you try to take your pictures in the same place you took the last picture. I will be choosing winners this week. I will do a video on it by the end of this week. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.